Yo, is that an enemy? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Yo bro, we're back out here with some more Fortnite real quick now today after all the support you guys showed on my console keybinds video like you guys showed a lot of support on that in fact like the main thing is you guys gave me like a lot of suggestions in the comments of that video as well so feel free to do it in the comments of this one as well but if you don't already I'm bringing you another one I've developed my console button binds a little bit and now I found the best one for editing and building all that different stuff you guys see people on PC you know what I'm saying building instantly editing instantly it just seems seamless but on console it was a little bit more difficult because I don't know if you guys remember like for example if I I build let me let me break this tree real quick for example if i built a stair if i wanted to edit it would be a little bit awkward because i would have to hold circle and you guys will see if you look at like the circle part right there you, it's not instant you have to like wait for the circle to go around so that does like mess up your timings with certain things and stuff like that but there is a way using the new button buttons that you've implemented into the game there is a way to do that all instantly this might be better than anyone you guys have ever seen yet because i've been trying this in playgrounds for a few hours now just to see if it actually works properly it does and this is probably the closest thing you're gonna get to like pc building on console without plugging it in like a keyboard and stuff because you can just do it so so quick and once you get used to this it will feel a little bit slow at first you'll be a god honestly you'll be building and editing instantly but but before I do show you guys my custom key binds right here, definitely make sure you smash that button on this video real quick. Let's see how many likes we can get. And also, if you are new around here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. We're still trying to hit 100k. You guys have been showing a lot of love recently, man. I do appreciate it. But now, let me show you guys my key binds real quick. And I'm going to hop into a game. So you guys can see, this is normal Builder Pro. This is what like I would use before the key binds. But now, what I've started using, I've started doing this. Now... I don't know if you guys can tell right off rip, but the usual things, obviously, I've changed, like, the bumpers and triggers around. I've just, like, flipped them. So, like, my aiming down sights is on the bumpers, my shooting is on the bumpers, and then, like, my switching weapons on the triggers. That's, that's just some usual stuff, but in terms of, like, the editing and building, that helps me out. What I've done is I've legit changed edit to the touchpad. Now, I know that seems extremely weird, and I will explain it in a second, but I just want to show you guys this real quick. So, my edit is now with the touchpad instead of, like, having to hold circle, which you guys saw. And also, the reason for that is that it becomes instant. Like, you don't have to wait for that circle to go all the way around it becomes instant it legit switches to edit mode real quick and also i've switched switch mode like because you can do it like this but you can go switch mode and edit as you guys can see like the blue one the blue one is essentially it says in the top right hold action which is what you don't want if you guys remember correctly it edits in blue because you'd have to hold it you have to hold it down but you don't want that at all you kind of want it to assign edit to like its own button so you don't have to hold it so that's why you change circle to just switch mode rather than switch mode edit which is what it would be usually and then obviously because the touchpad has changed the edit i've had to move the map to right on the d-pad and the reason i've done that is because it's just it's just kind of a seamless thing, do you know what I'm saying? So if you got your thumb on the analog stick, you can just like if you're running, you can just press the map anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? You can just push your thumb up to the map. And that's like the closest on the D-pad to the analog stick. So I just found that easy. And right on the D-pad usually is like squad comms, which I don't use anyway, so it's not that deep. And then also I couldn't change crouch or anything. I felt like changing crouch really like had an effect on how I played. It was mad annoying. Crouch is pretty important. But other than that, it's pretty simple. Like the rest is just flipped as well. Again, on building, it's flipped. You don't really have to do it if you don't want to, but for me, building is flipped as well in terms of the bumpers and triggers i put the map to right on the d-pad again in the build controls switch mode is still circle and then edit is still on the touchpad so that's basically what i do now it seems a bit weird i know but trust me once you get used to it it's crazy now you're able to do things like this which i've been learning so don't judge me if i do it wrong but what i've been learning i'll do it slow first but what i've been learning is to do this so you can play safe you're pushing someone who's like i don't know on a mountain or has already got high ground on you sometimes at certain angles like when you're pushing up like this say that's the ramp building up to me and i'm already here in a tower i could shoot him as he's like running up to me but if i was in this position what i've learned to do i probably won't do this every time depending on the situation but what i've learned to do is you can actually do this so as you're pushing up you can put the wall down and build stairs you know what I'm saying? As you're sprinting. And that's the whole point of switching to the touchpad is because you can keep running while you're switching to edit mode and switching back. Because again, your thumb is so close to the touchpad as you're running anyway. So you can just tap it when you want to. And that's what I learned. So the reason why you do this is because that split second, that wall's there and you're building the wall. I mean, floor, you guys know what I'm talking about. When you're putting those floors down, obviously you're blocking the bullets and you probably take a lot less damage. I had to leave that playgrounds, man. I hate recording or showing you stuff when it's dark. Man, annoying. But you guys saw what I was doing anyway. You're able to edit a lot quicker because you don't have to move your finger or move your thumb as you as you're doing anything it's mad simple 
mad simple and you can keep sprinting as well it's so easy i mean obviously sometimes you're gonna mess it up you know what i'm saying obviously sometimes you're gonna mess it up and this video isn't even just to do with this push but it's like if you could just edit seamlessly like pc players do like this bro it's just so much easier now bear in mind i've probably been doing this for like a couple hours in playgrounds mode right now which is why okay which is why it may seem like i'm doing it pretty easy but trust me it does take a little bit to get used to but even just simple like editing downstairs and stuff like that like it's mad annoying to have to move your thumb to circling to be able to do that it, it just doesn't make any sense and that's what like console players were restricted to you know what i'm saying having to like have that little like even like half a second maybe less than half a second delay while trying to edit it puts you off bro it puts you off completely but now you're able to do these things it's crazy so i'm just happy man i'm just happy that you're finally able to do these things honestly it's just like me pushing people a whole lot easier for real like bro if i can do this as i'm pushing someone bro just look at this it's interesting though because me personally i really like if i'm playing solos and stuff like that i don't really edit a lot anyway so this is just like for situations where you really feel like you have to or you feel like it'll give you an advantage because bro like, people really underestimate the power of editing man like bro even if i don't know you just build it up like this bro you just, you just get a little bit higher let me just get you can just like change the direction of different things man or as you fall in just like do this you don't even have to be the fastest but say if someone's below you You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's so easy. And that wasn't even, that was my first attempt at doing that. Leave me alone. When I change my settings and do stuff like this, don't get mad at me. But when I change my settings and stuff, I like topping 50 v 50 just because it's a little bit easier, you know, to test it out on people. Of course, I do. I probably will, like, run solos or duos tonight and stuff like that. But as for right now, for video purposes, I do want to hop in some 50 v 50 just so you guys can see me in more engagement. See how it actually works rather than just, you know, hopping in solos, getting, like, I don't know, like, four kills because they go mad slow and people die mad quick because they do locations. In reality, that's just my excuse for playing 50 v 50 what about you guys man have you guys used the actual uh button mapping yet on console or not because bro, i thought i was an enemy i know a lot of people haven't wait bro oh my that isn't you jacked my kill i got 95 on that man i got night i'm take all right we got one kill boy but yeah let me know if you've used the button mapping yet and give me some suggestions in the comments of this video man if you if you think anything's better than mine right now let me know because i mean i feel like i feel like i've got a pretty good setup right now i do like the setup that i'm using it's definitely a lot better than standard builder pro just because simply the editing factor it just makes it a lot easier to edit and build which was initially like without all of this it was <laughs> bro it was so annoying oh okay yeah we're treating me like that all right cool but at the end of the day man it just comes down to what you guys prefer i know it was a lot of people that were still amazing at the game without all of this like setup stuff so it just comes down to personal preference but if you guys think i think i hear someone oh <laughs> come on kid come on kid all right let me let me get up here oh <laughs> Why are you rifting me? I'm following him now. Hey, you ain't getting away, bro. Unless he goes back over there. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea for me. Yeah, that's right. Bro, what? Okay, we're somehow still alive. We survived it. Oh, they all tried to rush at us. That was crazy. Oh. But yeah, man, this just makes it a lot easier. It really just makes it a lot easier to just push anyone, outbuild anyone. Later. I can I, I can help us bring this back. I haven't got any kills right now. I haven't contributed to the whole nine kills that we've managed to get as a team. Yo, is that an enemy? Oh, yo, oh, bro, if I get another, all right, bro, it's getting, yo, look how outnumbered we are. Now we're seven behind, and we have to try and bring this back for the squad somehow. I think we should be able to, though. It's not that big of a deficit. Oh, 
Tell me how many people I just not just now. I didn't get one kill for it. Like how? Let's go, come on mate! Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll take that. Shout out my label, that's me. I'm in this bitch with TB. I'm in this bitch with full tray. I just pulled up me a A. Real nigga all in my face. 500 rats in my safe. 500 rats to the plug. What you know about showing love? What you know about pulling up? Ain't been the truck. 